viewers, well it's Peter Elgar Photography again here. I've had a request from one of my subscribers for showing how do I use neats for oil to put onto camera cases and camera leatherette. Well it's fairly simple really, I didn't know how to do it either, I just did it by trial and error. Well neats for oil is, is this stuff. It came in original in a little metal tin and it was found in a cupboard at my wife's deceased brother-in-law's house and um, I remember him telling me about neats for oil and he put it on leather goods so I found it I thought well I couldn't use that but the metal deteriorated and a load of it leaked out so I've decanted it into a plastic bottle so now I've got to be very careful here I don't spill any onto my wife's carpet in the lounge here so I'm doing it on a table with some newspaper all you need is the neats for oil and a disposable cloth this is the actual one that I've been using lately this is my Olympus OM10 OM and the case that the subscriber saw and saw me talking about and how I put neats for oil on it and he said oh can I do a video about it? So that's what I'm going to do. But this has already been done. So I'm not going to show that because I don't want to put too much on. But you can see how nice and shiny it is. But I've got here, I've got a, 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 my Rolliflex case. It has been done some years ago, but I, I can do a little bit again. My Rolliflex 2.8F EverReady case. Now, I do the cases first before I do the cameras. Now, what you do, you take up, pick up your neats for oil and you put a minute amount onto your disposable cloth. A minute amount, yeah, about that much. Now, I'm going to put the lid on in case it gets knocked over onto the carpet. And my wife's downstairs and I don't want her to know what I'm doing up here. I get into trouble. Now, you gently wipe it over the leather like this, into the stitches. Here we are. It's a very small amount. You don't pour a huge amount from the bottle onto your disposable cloth because it spreads quite a lot and one little amount will be enough to moisten all the leather on your ever ready cases and it does the stitches good as well but I've had some cases like my Minolta auto cord I was given from the 1960s they are beyond repair they all need re-stitching can't help it because the previous owners haven't looked after their gear and it all, all the leather's dried out so that is one little application of a couple of millilitres of neats for oil and it's done the whole of my Raleigh Flex case. Now you have to let that sink in for a while because it does get a bit sticky. So we put this down on the newspaper now with the same amount of neats for oil. Now put any extra, only what's on here I can rub the leatherette of the actual camera, all the little leatherette bits, like this. This is what I did with the Olympus. Rub the black leatherette. I had put black boot polish on it previously until I discovered neats for oil. To try to keep the leatherette well looked after. Just the panels here, these are all stuck down with adhesive. And when you have a camera repaired, a technician has to unpeel this leatherette because there's screws underneath they have to access so I've wiped my rolly flex over now there's a strap here this is a leather strap it's not the original one from 1960 when this rolly flex came out because of that one broke and it almost crashed to the ground but I had an idea I took the broken strap to a saddlery here in Brentwood Essex where they deal with horsey stuff, all this horse stuff. I thought 
they do leatherette, can you do anything for me? And I said, yes, we can make you a new strap. And he, he, un, he knew how to unclip these Rolly Flex clips here, and he clipped them onto, I can't get out of the camera now, never mind, he clipped it onto the strap, new bit of strap, and that has been good ever since. So what I do now, I rub this leather strap with a bit of my Neats Foot Oil onto my, from my cloth here, back and front, a very small amount, and see I haven't put any, any more on yet, till I do the next case. A small amount, you put too much on it, it gets all sticky and horrible. But that is just lubricating that strap. And that was put on, oh it must be oh, 10 years ago. I mean I had the camera about 30 odd years. And it came out in 1960. So how old is the leather? This is the original case. How old is the leather of that? If you're good at maths, 2017. And it's 1960 that was made. How many years old is that? Now I've got a black one here. This is a Pentax KX I was given by a camera club member. He sent it off for sale and they sent it back as not working, unsellable. So he said, would you like it? See what you can do. So I've told this story before so I thought I'll have a look. So I was looking at it and I took the lens off and I had a look inside and I tried the little um, lever here where the lens goes on and it's stuck so I put a minute amount of oil, sewing machine oil, in that little lever and pulled it and it moved and the lens went on and it's been working ever since. <laughs> I only needed a minute amount of oil. So that's little, you don't put neats for oil into your camera, you put sewing machine oil into your camera and that has a minute amount but here we are, look, neats for oil again a tiny little amount I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't overdo it, so you mustn't pour it out, loads of it it's too much, it lasts for ages and ages and then there's, rub it onto your black leather case if you can get the strap off, this here thing off. Oh, here we are. Look, that would stop it from going rotten. Probably it's not real leather. A lot of these cases are fake leather on some sort of weird cloth curry. My wife's Nikon case has gone all rotten. That was 1975, her Nikon. It's not real leather. And uh, not much you can do, it goes all white underneath. And, and it's um, not not salvageable. Sal was it words salvageable? But this is looks like it could be leather. So we're doing the black leather case of my Pentax KX. Now this came out in 1975. So the black leather case is as old as that as well. Now that's coming up nicely. See a minute amount. It spreads, and if you've got hot hands, as I have. I always suffer from hot hands. It melts it and it spreads easily. Don't try and do it in the freezing weather because your oil won't spread. But, um, yeah, well, that's come up well. Now, a minute amount left over on the cloth. I just give the leather out of the camera a little touch like that. The leather panels on the back here, like that. Rub it into the leatherette panels, so, and um, you don't have to look, make it until it's sort of wet looking. It's too much. Just just the amount that's on the cloth. Yeah, that's about how I do it, really. I mean, it's easy. Just follow my instruction with a disposable cloth, and I hope you'll get some success in doing your own. Leather covers. Thank you for watching.